Welcome back to the homestead. Today we're going to be finishing up some of the firewood that Justin cut. We're going to be splitting it. Yesterday we started splitting wood and we noticed that the wood splitter was acting a little weird. So Justin's going to have a look at it before we get started today. Yeah, it was uh, actually just running really bad. I think just because I let the, you know, I made a rookie mistake and let the gas sit in there all winter and all oh. summer and just never drained it. And now I'm paying the price. But, you know, that's just a way it goes sometimes I uh, just forget to take care of your equipment completely but anyway it I'll, happens though when you have a long list of to do but which it, I'm sure yeah other farmers know too also but anyway really. but anyway I want to kind of show you kind of what we've done to get this thing running right in case it might help you you know in the future if your equipment's running bad um, but we have a uh, a 30 ton country it's country line log splitter from tractor supply it's got a Kohler command pro on there 9.5 horsepower and uh it's been running for us great for what two years well, maybe even three two maybe to three, three years yeah it's we've had it a while it's been really good and i think this is the only time it's really gave us anything but yeah any sort of fit of anything but uh we'll get started here um uh, Put some wood on there and we'll see how it runs now. I'm here at the log splitter. It has a Kohler 9.5 horsepower on it. And this year it seems to be running rough. So I'm going to try to uh, get the thing straightened up and see if we can get it to run better. I'm going to go ahead and fire it up here and show you how it's running. Let's see if we can make some adjustments to get it running better. I did take the air filter out and cleaned it real good. I'm going to start it up and let you hear how it runs. So the first thing I'm going to try to do is clean out the fuel bowl at the bottom. I'll go get some tools and we'll try to do that. Okay, so what I'm after is the bottom of the fuel bowl here. I don't know if I can show you. There's a drain right there at the bottom. I'll go ahead and open that up. Clean out the bottom of the carburetor. hope that fixes it. Drain some of it out, if you can see. Not to take the whole thing out, but don't have nothing to pinch the line off with right now. Do this some hose pinchers, and we'll come right back. So I got the air filter off. Here's the carburetor. Go ahead and try to uh, clean up through there, them ports and things on the carburetor. See if we can make a difference here. I don't know.
carburetor completely off of there. Looks like this little wire came off. I don't know if that made a difference or not. Bunch of junk down in here, wood chips and stuff. Log splitters got a uh, they have a rough life. Don't take much to plug them up. back on and run this thing see what happens Monstrosity back on. Okay, put this back together and we'll see where it run how it runs. Okay, got it back together. And then put it on choke, fuel's on. Start her up, see what happens. Okay, so there you have it. It doesn't take but just a little bit of dirt to clog these things up and make them run terrible. So this is a Kohler Command Pro 9.5 horsepower. And uh, we got it running good right now. Okay, so as you can tell in the video, I got the uh, log splitter running pretty well. Uh, me and Ashley's gonna go ahead and start splitting some firewood. I'm gonna start it up right now.
the log splitter seems to be running pretty good uh, after we've done the carburetor clean on it and uh, I'm happy with it so far. I think with it being fixed we're definitely off to a great start to go ahead and finish up our firewood stacks. Yep, we'll uh, keep you posted on the next video. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up and also consider subscribing. And if you have more firewood questions, maybe tree types and identifying some trees, we have that in our other video, which I'll be sure to um, link that in the description and also that here at the end. And also, if you guys have any questions on uh, small engine stuff, I can try to help as much as I can. Right. And then just leave in the question down in the comments below. We'll catch you on the next one. See you on the next one. God bless. God bless.